Good afternoon. So, as you can tell, I am in a different spot yet again. Um, right now we are working on the room. It is an absolute nightmare. It's been an absolute nightmare for a while. That's the sound of Chris going through the closet. So we were basically like, you know, let's clean. Like, but not just clean, we're organizing. We're doing that, like, kind of a mix between Marie Kondo and the home edit. So everything has to have a home. Everything has to have a container because it's basically like tiny house living. So that's what we're doing right now. It is an absolute mess though. So yeah, like, let me show you guys. Like it's organized chaos. Everything is in a box and the stuff that isn't in a box is going to be in a box. Oh yeah, our dinosaur things. We had dinosaur stamps. Let me put that in the craft box. But yes, organized chaos right now. So we're going to basically, this has a home over there, but he has the door open, so but yeah. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, I just want to give you guys a quick little sneak peek. Like even our bed area is kind of chaos right now because we're using it to fold and do all that stuff. So we're going to get everything put away, um, get the few little decoration things we have put up and go from there. I think we might have to do an Ikea run. We'll see. But we want it to be nice, organized, cozy, because it's looking like we have another lockdown coming here in New York. So we want it to be livable before then. So, okay, I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Wow, I look like I'm from California, which I actually am. I say that just because early 2000s, snowboarding, <laughs> this is what everyone was wearing because you would go to Tahoe and it's 60 degrees and snowing. I'm going to cut all this. Good evening. We are back. I am so sleepy. We worked on the room for most of the afternoon. We're almost done. So goal is to be done by Monday, have this posted on Tuesday. So you guys will get to actually see the room. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what we're doing tonight. We also went on date night, went, walked around. I posted a little bit of that right before this, or videoed a little bit of that before this. Can you tell I'm tired? Now we're in bed. I'm in my cozy sweats. Got my little hat on cause my ears get cold. Pulled my hair down, just kind of like done. We're getting all cozy and we're gonna watch The Curse of Oak Island, which if you have not seen that yet, you've gotta check this out. It is amazing. It's on the eighth season now and it's just absolutely everything. We love this show. This has like been our show for what, two years, three years, three years now? Like we came in on it kind of late. Like it was on like season five when we started watching it and it's on season eight now. So it's like the best thing. So if you guys haven't seen it, check it out for sure. Um, other than that, I'm just drinking my sippy sip and we're going to have some donuts from Crave. Actually, here, I want to show you guys who wants to see these. You want to take that out? Miss Kira wants the donuts, too. Heck yeah. Mine's the blue one. Chris is the pink. And Miss Kira is passed out. Not really. Miss Kira is just sitting here waiting waiting to see if she can find a crumb so yeah that's it for tonight we're gonna go ahead and do our thing and relax and i'll see you guys tomorrow okay afternoon. good afternoon after evening good after evening it's not good evening afternoon. though hello you can see it's me chris and miss kira in her little red sweater because it's cold Hello, um, it is Sunday, and I don't know when this part of the vlog will go up because I don't know when I'm gonna post any of this. I don't even know. Anyways, 
But today we're also going on the great Starbucks cup hunt. One of my best friends, Sam, she's down in Florida and she loves these certain Starbucks cups. And she knows I'm looking for this one. And I saw it the other day at one Starbucks, but it's like super far away. And then we went to Starbucks last night and they didn't have it. So we're gonna go hunting for it today. The great Starbucks cup hunt. So let's go do this. Okay, so the great cup race is on. So the first place we went to said they had it in stock on the app. And that's what I put in the video. I was like, cool, awesome, okay. It's the only one that said they had it in stock. They didn't have it in stock, it sold out. So like while we're just sitting there waiting for our drinks, I started like looking up more, see if anyone else had it. One thing I have learned, can't get a hold of Starbucks and Targets. Not sure why, but like whatevs, like, okay. But we did find one and weirdly enough, it's right next to the freaking house. So, hey, we're gonna go pick it up. So, hopefully the great Starbucks cup hunt is over. You ready? Onward to victory. Onward to victory. Hey everyone, so I am back. So it is mid-November, it is November 16th as of right now. No, November 17th, I'm sorry. It's November 17th right now and we have definitely all heard because of the rise in COVID, a lot of people are being advised not to go home for the holidays. I'm one of those people, my family's in California, I'm currently in New York, but one thing we can do this holiday season, even though we can't be with our loved ones, is stay safe so we can be with our loved ones in the future. So a big thing that I have always been an advocate for are masks. And this is not like being sponsored by anyone or anything. I have just found that like masks are really effective. So far, knock on wood, I haven't even gotten a cold yet because I'm wearing masks, washing my hands much more frequently, using hand sanitizers every time we go out with someone or every time I mean, we like not out someone out somewhere or every time we touch something, you know, basically just trying to stay safe and get rid of the germs because nobody likes being sick. So I've definitely found that my mask collection has grown quite a bit since the beginning of all this. I'm sure you guys are noticing that too. So I just want to talk a little bit about masks just because People are still arguing the effectiveness about them, and I just feel like, you know, as somebody who has made sure that they are informed on the latest information, that I should be sharing this and using my platform to share it with you guys. So, we're going to start with masks. What does the CDC say on it? Well, the CDC set recommends that you wear a mask that has two or more layers. If you're over the age of two years old, you should be wearing a mask. You cover your mouth and nose at all times. You should have no gaps right here or under the chin and i'll go ahead and show you what they mean by that because i have a mask that's way too big so you can see what it's talking about so no gaps and then also we're going to be saying don't wear masks that are intended for medical professionals our first responders and medical professionals are the ones who really need those respirators and n95s right now especially as cases are going up okay so i'm going to show you guys a couple of my masks and some of the things that I'm doing to stay safe. So I'm gonna go like this and then I'll do an overlay at the end. All right, so I know I'm not the only one who has definitely had a growing mask collection since all this has started. I like cute masks, I like playing masks, I have masks for the gym. So let's look at some of them. And maybe if you see something that you guys like here, yeah, might inspire you to go get another mask. So let's go and start with the good old basics. This is one of the first masks I actually got. So she's just a plain pink mask. She is two layers and you can see it has the pockets inside. So that pocket actually is for a filter and it's not like the ones that you see for those big respirators that go on your face. They're actually for things like this. So I just got both the mask and this at Target. You take the little carbon filter. It just looks like a little sheet pop it into the middle of here and although this is effective this makes it more effective just because it's that extra layer plus it has the carbon filter that'll help filter out um, certain types of bacteria so this one says it's um, five layer filtration technology made of activated carbon and non-woven melt blown polypropylene 
So it's for use in massive filter pockets like this. And this guy does not have any masks included. I got this at Target. They had a whole bunch last time we were there. We've been picking up like a box every time we go, just so we have them just in case. So it fits in both my masks and Chris's masks. And his masks are much larger because he has a bigger face. So you'll see here's his mask versus my mask. Woo! His mask versus my mask. Definitely a difference there. So with this mask, I'm gonna have to talk out now. You're gonna see there's no gapping right here along the edge and she fits perfectly underneath my chin. This one I do have to pull up a tiny bit and then I pop my glasses over the top to prevent it from fogging. It looks like it's puffing right now. That's just me being puffy, I ate way too much salt. <laughs> but basically, this is how they're supposed to fit. I have a little face. This is actually a kid size mask, so size for you. So I have it in pink and then I actually went and picked it up in this black and then I also have a navy blue in the style as well. The black and navy blue ones actually have a little nose band up here and it's made of metal so that way I can actually form it to my nose and it helps prevent fogging even more. And these guys just like that one have the pocket. So these are kid size yet again. I have a little face. I'm not a very big person if you didn't know. So there we go. Also, besides the basics, I like a cute mask. I do like a cute mask. So here's gonna be my first example of a cute mask. I love this mask, but it's a bit big on me, so I have to do some altering. This is like my wash day mask when nothing else is available. So this one right here is from Pura Vida. They did a special collab. So I got this in blue and pink. You can tell she's definitely big on me. She's gapping, she's hanging. So this is why I don't really wear these. One thing I did learn though is if you twist this, and put it over your ear and then you can take this and tuck it and then it's nice and flat i have to do it on both sides with these so that way they're safe these guys also have that pocket as well and it's double layered so these are technically cdc okay i don't tend to wear them though because they are a bit big for my face i wish they came in smaller sizes because it's just so cute but i got that teeny tiny face i mean like look it's the size of my whole face <laughs> So another cute one I got, and she's simple and double layered. This one came from Urban Outfitters. Just a plain one, but they have these cute little stitched in friends. It's like a little mushroom friend and a butterfly, and a little flower. This one is double layer as well. There's another pocket right there so I can add a filter. And I like this one a lot because it's t-shirt material. So it's nice and stretchy. It's not that it's like breathable, like granted all these are breathables and you can breathe through them but they're not so loosely woven that stuff's gonna get through them but like it just seems like it's more comfortable it's a more comforting feeling on my face so I love this one it's one of my favorites then I just got this guy ready for this this one is so cute we just picked this up the other day Chris got one too his is a little bit more like but these are so cute. This one is a little different. She is multiple layers. I think this one is three layers. This one's three layers, but it doesn't have the extra pocket in it. Um, I like this one because it's also stretchy. And I think the little face on it is super adorable. This one right here is also a different shape, if you didn't notice. So the last year, a little bit more triangular when you look at the side. This one is going to be flat. This one's a lot like the privacy masks that have been popular in Japan and Korea and China for a long time. And they're becoming popular here now because we gotta wear those masks. This one's gonna be great for winter though because it's super thick. So I'm super excited because it's already 40 degrees out there. Another one of those triangle masks who, which does have little nose bendy. This one's from Urban. It also has a pocket on it. This one's interesting because the pocket's on both sides. So, I don't know. But I like this one matches that little camo thing that's been going on cute mask love it okay so another cute one but this one's in a different shape entirely so this is gonna look like your medical mask this one's two layers i got this one from anthropology which i have found is my favorite place for masks because they actually have smaller masks like this for women this one is my favorite mask like i think of all time it's just super pretty it has a little nose band that i can press down it's easy for me to talk, I can breathe, um, I can pull it up high enough that my glasses don't fog. 
this is an amazing mask. So if you've been looking for something that's a little bit classy, Anthropology, she got you. I need to go back, honestly, and pick up some more. Um, I do have one other style that I picked up. I don't believe she's from Anthropology. I think this one's also Urban. It's going to be one of those square ones. I have not worn this one more than once. It's really cute with the stripes, but it's the ties. And, like, honestly, this one was great for summertime. Like, when I could go to the beach and it's like, okay, we're social distancing at the beach. Wear it to get to the beach. Take it off when it's just our little group. It would just hang. But, like, I don't wear it normally because I don't know if you can tell. It is double layered, but it's super thick. It almost feels like denim. And I am claustrophobic. I'm a claustrophobic person. And this was not it for me. So, I'll definitely wear it next summer. But I think she's going to be put away until then because I can't even... Okay, so another one of those square ones I wanted to show you. I got this one from Wear. So this is like one of those highly rated masks on the market. I got one of the first ones, so it's before they did their little adjustable loopies. But this one also has the metal nose band in there. It is washable. It is multi-layer. I think it says three layers. It's two or three layers. It does meet CDC guidelines. It is a little bit big on me. And it's kind of annoying because it's such a good mask. So this one I did have to tie especially so that way I could bring it down and have it flush. It goes almost all the way into my neck though. And then this one I can just pop up like that. Only reason I don't like this mask is because it is big on me. You can see it covers my entire face. I don't like that because I can't like, it's not this part, it's this part because it goes up into my eyeballs. <laughs> So it is big. If you are a more petite person like me, probably not for you. Um, I got three of this in the pack that I bought. It was a really good deal, but unfortunately it does not work for smaller people. So I don't wear them very often. Plus they're white. So like I have to be careful if I'm wearing makeup because yeah, I still like wearing makeup even under a mask. So the other thing that's been going on is I've been working out a lot. Like almost every day going to the gym for at least 30 minutes to an hour and obviously if you go to the gym or if the gyms are open in your area you do have to wear a mask i did order something for my mask earlier that does go along with the gym thing it's going to be one of these it's a little silicone thing that you pop on your face and so that way when you breathe in the mask doesn't get sucked up into your mouth or your nose that's been a big issue for me especially because i do have exercise induced asthma which does make me a sensitive case for covid because i do have asthma so I have to be super, super careful. And when I'm like working out, it's like, I can't like pull it down because obviously we're social distancing. So we got these cool little silicone things that we're going to be popping on while we're working out. But I do want to show you guys the masks I use. I wear these both to the gym and not to the gym because they're so good. So Uniqlo, it's a Japanese clothing brand. One of my favorite places in the world for basics. And like they have this cute fuzzy sweater. <laughs> Tell me not to buy it because I will totally buy it. But they have super cute and comfy masks. So these guys, I'm going to bring it up close. I don't know how well this camera will pick it up. But basically, the fabric itself kind of reminds me of like sportswear. It's moisture wicking. It doesn't fog easily. I actually honestly think I'm going to need to buy more of these. Start wearing these more so than the cotton ones. Just because they do so well. Plus... According to Uniqlo's packaging, when you first put it on, it blocks up to, I think it was like 98 or 99% of bacteria and viruses coming in through these. And then after you've washed it, um, it'll be about 93, if I remember right, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, it's about 93% of bacteria and viruses will be blocked with these guys. That does have an interior thing. Um, it almost feels like, I know it's weird to say it feels kind of like a, uh, laundry sheet but it kind of does like it's stiff but it's malleable in there it's like I can move it but it's really nice they're super soft easy peasy to clean they dry super fast because I don't know about you guys I air dry all my masks just so that way they don't get all weird I love them I have them in black I have them in white and then they have them in gray now I'm not the biggest fan of the gray I got the white first because they only had black and white in the beginning and Chris bought the black so I got white to differentiate but now that's winter I'm like I want two more packs of the black. I think it was like 14 bucks for a pack of three. They're a little bit on the pricier side but they work so well. I love those masks. So, so those are the masks. 
Now, there's one other thing that I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen. I've been doing this since probably about July. Um, looks like a necklace. Hooks to your mask. Mask necklace. So I love these, especially for when we go to the city, um, because we do have things that we have to do in the city, even though like we're social distancing, being safe, but like going out shopping, stuff like that, because this way I don't have to dig in my bag to find my my mask. And then this way I don't have to worry about it getting all over everything else. It's like, it's already there. I only wear my masks once, so easy peasy. So pop it on kind of like a glasses chain very cute this one was actually made for me by a family member and I think it's gorgeous I have two others one of them is a black bead and the other one is gonna be a white flower I love this neutral one but there are some amazing like Etsy stores selling these as well I'll actually link the one that I bought mine from she was absolutely amazing even when there was a little hiccup with the order like she got me a new one super fast and they're such great quality I love them and it's a great way of accessorizing especially with like holidays coming around like something sparkly and pretty but yeah so those are some of my favorite masks I, I obviously have more like this is my mask box like look at that I have so many more masks but like it's basically duplicates the ones that I showed you guys and they're just something that we need we gotta stay safe out there right so make sure you're wearing your mask. Mask up, everyone. Stay safe because next year, like once hopefully we have that vaccine and we're allowed to see each other again, I want to be able to see you guys. I want to be able to meet you guys and I want to be able to do it safely. That's Miss Kira telling me that she's done. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Tell me where you find your favorite masks. I'm always looking for like masks like these guys with a fun pop of color. Let me know if you guys have a favorite place. Also, if you guys know of more mask chain shops, especially small local places like on Etsy or local shops around Long Island, New York, any like New York is in Manhattan, New York, let me know because I definitely want to pick up a couple more. Wow, Kira. <laughs> Kira, you being rude? She's super mad because I had to go and put her in her bed while I filmed. So, okay. I think that's it for now, honestly. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this. I know it was a little bit more of a quiet vlog. It's been quiet because we're starting to spend way more time at home. Whereas, mm -hmm. like, we were going out, especially, like, walking frequently. Thankfully, things here in New York are looking okay. Um, we are only at, I believe it was a 3% infection rate last time we checked, which was yesterday. But the cases can go up at any point. P this whole thing can be prevented and by wearing a mask, staying home, unless you actually have to go out. You know, just being safe and listening to the CDC and public health advisories. Don't forget, guys, this is incredibly important. The cases of COVID are rising and we definitely need to do our part to make sure we're safe and our family members and our friends are safe as well. It's up to us to keep our communities healthy. So just wear a mask. They're super cute. They can be super comfy. Like it's just a piece of cloth. Yes. So wear your mask, stay safe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much for tagging along. I always love to have you along for the ride. So go ahead and like and subscribe down below and don't forget to click that little bell guy because that algorithm hates us all. But I'll see you guys the next time, okay? Love ya.